Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Headliners. What's hot and what's not in the professional music industry. Please welcome your host, Joe Donahue. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You made it. You're here. I'm so glad. We have an excellent show for you tonight. You are going to love this. I have with me in the studio right now founding member and lead guitarist of the smash hit grunge group Sludge Grinder. Sludge Grinder, you just finished a major world tour. You guys were on the road for like, what, 12 months? You played over 200 shows? Tell us, how was the tour? Amazing. Fucking <laughs> Sorry about that. Live telly. Forgot about that. Right. Um, where was I? Ah, the tour. Amazing. Sludge Grinders got to be the greatest band to have toured the world since, I don't even, Milli Vanilli. Absolutely Milli Vanilli. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, uh, you have developed a really unique sound that has inspired your fan base. How did you come up with that unique grunge sound? I, I believe you call it sludge grunge. That's a great question. So as you know, Sludge Grinder is a grunge band at heart. So who are the great grunge bands that we're talking about here? We're talking about Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Silverchair. You take all those bands, you put them in a bloody blender, you grind them up, and what comes out? Sludge. Well, uh, okay, great. Uh, how did you come up with the name Sludge Grinder? Well, we wanted a name that really screamed out grunge. So you ask yourself a question, what is grunge? It's like dirt, crud. Sludge, grunge, sludge. They're the same, but different. It's the perfect name, Sludge Grinder. Okay, well, uh, you guys have brought some renewed interest in grunge music. It's 2023, we're on the, the cusp of 2024. Grunge music was ancient history, and some people say it's even dead. What do you have to say to those people? Grunge may be dead, but not sludge. Grunge was invented back in Seattle in the 90s by a couple of blokes, but sludge, I invented it. Well, uh, just for the sake of the show, let's keep going. Tell us about your bass player. Where did you find her? In the bedroom, actually. She's my wife. <laughs> Gotta tell you, one of the best bass players I've ever played with. She's so good, she only needs to play the two top strings on the bass. <laughs> All right, that's great. Well, what about your drummer? Where did you find him? Ah, yes, the drummer. One of the best in the industry. He keeps perfect time. He's like a drum machine, actually. Okay, that's great news. I, I think we're back on track. Now, I, I see that you're wearing sunglasses, and you often seem to be. Is that because you have a, a light sensitivity issue? Joe, my future is so bright, I've got to wear sunglasses at night. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, great, good. Uh, now this isn't really part of the interview, but I have to pause here because uh, throughout this whole show, I've been I've been seeing that you're you're holding a cigarette. I don't know if the producers told you or not. It's it's actually against the law to smoke indoors. Uh, can we can we take care of this? That's not necessary. It's a fake cigarette. It's a fact. It's all part of the image. I uh, <clears throat> I notice you have uh, some some sort of accent. It's it's hard to place it. I, I can't tell if it's British or Australian. Were you born in the UK? New Jersey, actually. It's like the cigarette. It's all part of the image, this accent. I mean, if you want me to, I can just use my regular speaking voice, but I guess it would be kind of stupid to go back to the accent now, I guess. Well, uh, I... <clears throat> I had some more questions, but I don't, I don't, I think we're done. So why don't, why don't you just answer probably the only remaining question that any of us have after what we've just experienced, which is why did you put the band together at all? Well, Joe, as you know, I am one of the greatest, if not the greatest recording session players in the world, right up there with Jimmy Page. Just like Jimmy Page, he was a session player, and he decided he's gonna put Led Zeppelin together. So one day, I'm in the studio, and I'm laying some tracks down for some clowns, and it just came to me. I'm gonna put my own band together and make one million dollars. All right, fantastic. Thank you, uh, Sludge Grinder, so much for being here. Thank you, our wonderful guests, for being present with us today. This has been awesome. Join us next time uh, on the next episode of Headliners with me, your host, Joe Donahue.